Hola mamacitas, here we are, the eight-week challenge. One of the most important things for you to learn is to use your core correctly, to engage it on every exercise, rather than just letting it go. Belly bottom to spine. Really simple, guys. All my mommies that have that little pooch here, I mean, we have it, or you have that little barriguita, this is what's gonna help you get your core engaged, and it's gonna help you really use your core on every exercise if you connect your body and mind. Really important. I'm gonna explain it to you, I'm gonna close closer to you. On your inhale, you let your belly go. On your exhale, you bring your belly bottom to your spine. Draw your tailbone in. So inhale, you let it go. Exhale, look at my tailbone, how it goes in. And you draw your tailbone in, belly towards your spine. Like if I have a string in my belly bottom and I'm pulling it up, it's really important to do this. Another way to understand how to do belly bottom to spine is doing wall squats. So you're gonna come into a wall, feet hip with distance your feet, and you're gonna come down. Make sure your lower body is touching the wall. So you're gonna draw your tailbone slightly in and send your belly bottom up. That's belly bottom to spine. The moment that you touch your belly, that's engagement. So from here, I'm engaging my core and I'm able to talk. I'm able to breathe with it, but I'm holding it in. So it's not sucking it in. It's basically engaging your belly bottom up. Another way to do it is going down into your crunches. I explained it to you in the crunches video, but I will do it back again here. You're gonna lay down. Notice that little space in between your lower back and the floor, right? So you're gonna slightly draw your tailbone in and bring your belly to your spine. There, you're bringing your lower back to, towards the man and you're protecting your lower spine. That's belly bottom to spine. So practice this, look at the video over and over again. Understand what belly bottom to spine is. It's also really simple to show you in pictures. When you stand like this on a picture, you notice how everything is out of line, your shoulders are away, your tailbone is in, in a really way, like you're not even engaging your core, you're letting it go, notice the difference. Shoulders away from your ears, slightly in, lengthening your body, right? I'm engaging my core as I talk. So when you're moving with weights or with um, any props, let me grab my dumbbells, you're gonna bring your elbows towards your body and you're always gonna move with control using your core. On your exhale, you engage your core. Notice how my weights are not swinging. I'm not doing this, right? I'm controlling, moving like a robot. Elbows to your body, and up. Inhale, exhale up. Same idea when you're going into your shoulder press. You align your shoulders with your elbows, elbows with your wrist like a square, and you push up. You do not go past your shoulders. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale. Excellent. So those are little things that you really need to understand and use in the eight-week challenge in order to really work your muscles and get the best out of it. Belly bottom to spine, always moving like a robot and controlling the move, body and mind. Really important. I wish you good luck. Let's do this.